So grateful that I'm okay, no one got hurt. goodness you guys let me set up this camera I am like shaking you guys I am so so lucky holy cow my adrenaline's pumping I was coming to this class and I was so excited I was on the freeway and as I was driving I noticed my car just like didn't feel right and it was kind of making a weird sound and I was almost to the exit so I started to get over I noticed my car was like acting strange I looked down on the dashboard and it did say it said low air pressure obviously I had a flat tire of some sort, but I didn't have any idea how bad it was. So as I was slowing down to the stoplight, my car was just like, didn't, didn't, didn't. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get over. Right then, a car switched lanes really quickly, you guys, and I was this close to hitting them. I had to swerve out of the way, and with my tire, it like just made this awful sound, but I barely missed that car. And oh my gosh. I was literally right next to my studio, so drove slowly over here to the parking lot to get out of the street, but holy cow, you guys, that was like a really, really close call. Luckily, I was going slow enough that I was able to stop, but my tire is completely flat. It looks like I have no idea how that happened. I was just driving this earlier this morning. There was nothing wrong with it so I must have run over something like on the freeway or something I don't know but it went pretty quick I just called Jared and he is gonna come down trying to help me he can't be here for a little bit so I'm gonna head into this class and try and work out <laughs> so grateful that I'm okay no one got hurt but man have you guys ever driven on a flat tire like that before that was the first time that's happened to me and that was not a fun experience. So I'm gonna go ahead and head in and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh my gosh, you guys, Brittany just called me and told me about the story about how she almost got into an accident. Seriously, like so scary, but I'm so glad that she's doing okay. I'm happy to hear it's only a flat tire. That's something that we can take care of. So I myself, I'm actually gonna go down there while she's working out, get it taken care of for her so she can get back on the road. And I'm just, again, I'm so happy that she's safe. <laughs> So you guys, because I'm such a great husband, <laughs> I came all the way down here to come fix that flat tire. And yes, that thing is definitely flat. Like that's down to the rim flat. So I am so glad that she decided to call me because now I can fix it for her. She doesn't have to worry about it. She can work out. I can have it fixed and back before she even gets out. So you guys, this is super flat as you can see right here. I mean, it's down to like the rim. That is like mega, mega flat. So you guys, I'm actually gonna try just filling it up with air real quick. I actually have an air compressor that's in the car. Basically what it does for those of you that do not know, it just fills the tire up with air. <laughs> Oddly enough, we ordered this thing forever ago. It just recently came, we've never had to use it, we've never had to use anything like this ever before, and no joke, within a week or two weeks of getting it, we get a flat tire. <laughs> so I'm gonna be trying this out for the first time with you guys. Hopefully it's just a tire leak and nothing more severe, and hopefully it fills up just enough for me to go take it to like a tire shop to get it fixed. All right, you guys, this is it. So just so you guys know, this is not a sponsored ad. Obviously, we cleared up a flat tire. But the one I have here is called a Tac Life tire inflator. I actually don't know much about it, other than that it was rated super high on Amazon, so I decided to get it just in case we ever caught a flat tire. And I'm super glad I did because we clearly have one now. So basically how this works, you guys, seems pretty simple enough. All you do is just turn the car on, plug this thing into your AC outlet, select your targeted PSI for your tire, turn it on, and then I guess just let it go. <laughs> okay, so I actually learned this from a guy that fixed my tire like forever ago, but to find out the PSI on your car, if you do not know it, it's actually printed right here on the inside of the door. So when you open up your car door, inside is like this little printed sticker that no one ever looks at. <laughs> But written right here is the car's PSI. So for this particular car, the PSI is 33. And I want to know my exact PSI so I can put it into this thing right here. So 32. 
Boom, okay, so 33. Also, a quick another tip, you guys, about a flat tire, that if you do have a flat tire, you do wanna make sure that this thing is down towards the bottom, if you can get it down without damaging the rim. I actually have no idea why that's the case, but I've heard that's what you need to do. Okay, so this thing right here, you guys, has automatically attached a hose. So all you do is just screw off the cap that you have automatically on there, screw this one on until it locks. Then, you guys, there is a switch right here, and all you do is, is you just turn this on, and it starts to fill up with air. So if you guys can see, it's actually filling up with air right now. It was at zero right now, it's at five PSI. So we got a little ways to go before it hits 30. All right, you guys, when this thing's all done pumping air, it will automatically shut off at 33. Ah, look at that. Check that out, it's completely full of air. Okay, so now that it's actually full of air, just to be safe, I'm gonna go take it to a tire shop, go get it patched up. If they can, hopefully it's just a little leak that they can patch up quick and easy. That way I can bring it back here for Britt before she gets out. Okay yeah, guys, so they're actually working on the car right now, but comment down below if you guys think that I should surprise Brittany with one of these rims. like that, all done. All patched up and ready to go for Britt, that way she doesn't have to worry about it when she gets out of her workout class. So I'm gonna go take the keys, leave it with the receptionist, and I'll see Britt back at home. hubby in the world give this video a thumbs up if you agree jared is just the sweetest he came he saved the day he fixed the tire all is well he actually had to take off to go somewhere tonight he is just the sweetest i'm so so lucky i just got here to my mom's house and i'm so excited because i can actually be around her i still don't give her hugs and everything because if anyone's new to our channel so i have a little niece scotty who is just the cutest little girl in the world she's one she has something called cystic fibrosis cf and it's respiratory disease so she's at a really high risk with the whole covid and virus thing so we have been super super careful with her obviously and then anybody who's around her so her parents my parents they live in the same building and my mom especially helps out a lot with Scotty because of that we have just been really really careful and we're still really careful we sanitize every time we go into their house we like take off our shoes but we're starting to ease up a little bit so I cannot wait to go in I'm gonna go say hi to them and maybe she'll be with little baby Scotty so maybe you guys can see her too guys is she not the cutest little thing can you say hi say hi yes hi can you say what does the moo cow say moo <laughs> what does the doggy say moo oh woof, woof. what does the elephant say <laughs> <laughs> what does the sheep say ba ba <laughs> what does the monkey say <laughs> oh 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 yeah. Ooh, ooh. Can you blow down kisses? Oh, mwah. yes. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Say see ya. I'm gonna go play now. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Show how you run. Oh my goodness. You're so fast. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Oh, good job. Oh my gosh, you guys, she's the cutest little thing. Bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> oh, I love them so much. 
So guys, I am in desperate need of a haircut. When I got home, I changed into my workout clothes, took off my hat, and I realized I basically have a ski jump on the top of my head, AKA my hair. Guys, look at that. I mean, that is so long. I pulled up to one of my favorite places, Sports Clips. I'm gonna get in, get a cut, get out. And I got my face mask because face masks are actually required, so I am good to go. How do you guys like it? And I want your honest feedback. So just so you guys know, I went a little bit shorter this time just because I wanted my haircut to last a little bit longer. I feel like my hair grows so quickly when I get it cut to like the optimum trim. That only lasts like a couple weeks and then I have to go get it cut again. So I thought if I maybe get it cut just a little bit shorter this time that my haircut will last longer. I'm just not used to it being this short, especially on top. But I just gotta remind myself the reason I did is because I want my haircut to last longer and it will look really good in like a week and then it's gonna look really, really good for like another two weeks. And so I think I extended the life of my haircut by at least one week, maybe two. All right, guys, I just got back. If you guys are new to our channel, definitely subscribe, hit that notification bell. Also, if you guys aren't following us over on Instagram, definitely go check us out, at Jiren Britt. We always have a ton of fun over there. And you know what, guys? I think that this haircut is growing on me. I mean. It looks pretty darn good. All right, guys, I'm calling it a little bit earlier just because I gotta run, I gotta go do some stuff. We love you guys, and until next time, we will see you later. Bye.